Why are you hassling me? I said no two weeks ago. And the only reason I've waited this long is because you're a mate. Well, mate of a mate, that's good enough for me. Paperwork's all here, just say the word. Uh, 50 grand. I said I could stretch to 30. Can't do it. It's a lot of money. She's a lot of horse. The price will only go up when she has her next win. Uh, her first win, don't you mean? And any idea when that might be exactly? She ran third last month, second last week. I'm starting to sense a pattern. All right, I'll do it. Good man. But I'm not signing anything until I've seen what I'm investing in. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, there's someone in the courtyard asking to see you. What does he want? She. She says it's urgent. Be back in a minute. Bring the bottle with you. I thought you'd want to know. The last investor just clicked into place. Ta. What do I found? Is there any news? Not yet. Well, the house will be tidy when you get home. Nicole and I kicked everyone out and did the dishes. At least you two are talking to each other. That's something. Yeah, just not about netball. <laughs> Maya had to go and get JJ. She'll be back as soon as she can find a babysitter. I don't fancy her chances at this time of night. I could do it. Uh, the poor boy's hardly seen his mum all day. I'll give her a call and tell her to stay put. Are you sure? <laughs> There's no point in all of us sitting around here like lumps of wood. Just drink your tea. I'll call her in a sec. I wonder if they got the ice. Sorry? It might be sitting melting in Ben's car. Oh, I should have told him not to bother. We could have made do. He just wanted everything to be perfect. Well, it was. For a while. Fifty grand on a stupid horse. A few hours ago, you were pleading poverty. I never said I didn't have the money. I know you've got it. I just didn't think you were insane enough to chuck it all away on a racehorse. Oh, and I could be chucking it away on you instead. I'm a better bet than some nag you've never seen. Give me the cash and I'll disappear. What is your hurry? I thought we had an understanding. We had sex. It's not the same thing. <laughs> I'm a businessman, Jane. I use money to make money. I don't like giving it away for no return. Would you rather go to jail? Well, that's not going to happen. Why are you so sure? Because you're this close to getting what you wanted. You're just going to have to wait a bit longer, that's all. Until your horse romps home and makes us both rich, you're dreaming. Uh, yes, it's a risk, but I'm good at those, remember? This doesn't have to be half as unpleasant as you're trying to make it. We'll see. Hunter's going to be fine. They told me that hours ago, but I've only just started to believe them. How's Ben? Still in surgery. That's all I know. The bond must be beside herself. Yeah. What are you distracting yourself with? Work. Don't hate me for it. <laughs> you kidding? I admire your ability to focus. I'm a heartless cow. Everybody knows that. In fact, your new best friend, Helga, and I have a lot in common. I'm cheaper, though. That's what we'll be paying if we decide to keep the system. It's upgrades every year. Wow. Is she worth it, I ask myself. Well, she is if every day is like today. What do you mean? Maxwell, Scotty and Tracy would have all been at the barbecue when Ben and Hunter were brought in. ED would have coped, but would they have coped well enough? I'm not going to win this one, am I? You've just come from your son's sick bed. You're too emotionally involved. <laughs> your fight's not with me, is it? It's with the DHP. True. We've coped this long without Helga, so why do we need her now? Tell me, where did you stand when the internet came in? We coped a few thousand years without that, too. I wasn't consulted then, either. You see, that's your problem, isn't it? Come on. Let's get out of here. Uh, make mine a single. I've had a couple already. Hmm. Debriefing at another bar, should I be worried? It wasn't even a group debrief. It wasn't even a debrief. One night, I wouldn't have cared less about losing. Big man, I don't think even Sarah would begrudge you a flutter after a day like today. Yeah, I don't want to go there with her. Can you put that in your safe for me? Yeah, sure. Actually, you know what? You've built up quite a stash now already. What's the plan? Well, casino never sleeps. Well, you could invest it. And what? Well, 
I've been offered another chance to buy into Henry's racehorse. Point taken. Yeah, she's romping out. He and Isaac are raking it, apparently. Yeah, so I hear. Yeah, but he wants 50 grand, and the bank will only loan me another 30 on this place. So you're talking partnership? You and me? Well, you seemed keen once before. I thought you might I'm still interested. Of course I am. It's Henry who cut me out. He was worried he'll stuff things up with me and Sarah. So it'd be a cone of silence between you and me. Suits me fine. Sounds like a deal, my friend. <laughs> Call Dad if you don't believe me. Mum, I am fine. No, that's just stupid. She's only just got there. Sophie's thinking about flying back. It's Mum. Tell her I'm fine. Uh, hello, Justine. He's not fine, but he is going to be. Did you get that? Or do I have to email my x-rays to you? I was joking, Mum. <laughs> I have to go. Someone wants me. Yes. You too. Bye. You hung up too soon. You could have told her your other good news. Hey. Your blood results have come back. You're still HIV negative. You're joking. It's not really the sort of thing we joke about around here. Look, I know you're still due for another test in a fortnight, but it's been long enough now that we can practically guarantee the results. So, congratulations. <laughs> Hello, my lovely man. When is he going to come round? I want to be here. Yvonne, the operation didn't go the way we hoped. I managed to drain most of the bleed off the surface of the brain, but the hemorrhage was extensive and very deep, and I couldn't reach it. So, you'll be going back for another go. When will that happen? I'm afraid there's no point. What? Dr Fernley and another intensivist have examined Ben. They've pronounced him brain dead. He's not going to wake up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 